lift your right knee and pick it up to 90 degrees for me. So what we now see in the data is that you went to about 76, 78 degrees. You can also see that there's a little bit of tilt or adduction and, uh, and then you got some twist too. So you control that. So it's very sensitive. So now if I ask you to just go ahead and put that foot back down and walk in place for me, just pick your knees up and down. The graph gives us a visual representation of exactly what's happening in your motion. So those, one, those peaks that you see go on the highest, one's your left leg, the other's your right leg's knee lift. As it goes down and we see those red and yellow lines get to the bottom, that's your... So the first thing we're going to do is align you. You're not actually in neutral. Now the average person when they get our product, they're going to do just what you do. You've got some compensation going on in this angle. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in, because you're at a clinic, I'm going to align you correctly. So we're going to turn this foot in some, okay, right there. And then what I want you to do is actually leave that leg where it is, but I want you to keep the toes down and externally rotate this ankle. Are you left-handed? Just the, just the ankle, not both legs. Right there. So now you turn it up there too. So that's good. Now stay there. I'm going to align you. You're about, um, right now, two, one to two degrees of internal rotation, tibial rotation on that uh, left leg. Keep walking for me at that pace. A little bit longer. Good, you can relax. I got that one saved. And now at your convenience, what I want you to do is run. I'd like you to try to run about six miles per hour. So what is that 10 minute mile pace? 10 minute mile. Yeah, it's got four from there. Okay. Try right, to stay right there. I'm recording. You just keep moving. And now go ahead and turn it into a sprint for me. So close to 10 miles per hour is fine. And we can see that your range of motion got significantly greater. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and that's good. Yeah. Just an analysis of your walking, you scored 78%, uh, right. which is actually pretty consistent to what I get on just about every other treadmill um, um, in terms, and, and not just treadmill, but walking even on flat ground. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see uh, what your flexion extension data or range of motion was like. And you lifted your leg forward, so your knee lift was uh, on average, looks like about 33 if we look at both of them, but your left one, you got a little more knee lift out of that one, 34 degrees compared to 31 on your right. Love this, because walking, you're about exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 17.5 degrees based on our, our data research of what the body should do and you're at 18.2 and 16.8. I like this, you're pretty symmetrical too. You're only 7.4% deficient in, in terms of your stride angle or your stride length. Mm. Um, you're 49 degrees uh, on your, when your left leg is in front compared to 45 degrees, mm. uh, 45.6 degrees when your uh, right leg is in front. Now, what m this is where most analysis stop. I can look at your step rate, your stride rate, but I want to look at your internal and external rotation so I can see what kind of twist you had going on because I could see it. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, and here's what I noticed. You stay stuck in internal rotation. So what our smart garment technology would say to you is here are a list of exercises that would address the internal rotation that happens when you're at extension. But if you'll notice, there's a difference between your extension or your internal rotation when you extend your left leg in comparison to extending your right leg. Six degrees of internal rotation on the left, 17, almost three times as much wow. on the right leg when it's in the back. I felt that all day yesterday, yeah. and the day before, and yeah. the day before that, sitting in the car. Uh, so now if we look at this, and this is what our smart garment technology does best, is this is your exercise program based upon your imbalances. So you can see here your left leg, right leg exercises, a few for your left leg only, but a lot for your right leg. These exercises address everything that, that, ha that needs to happen from here down, mm -hmm. okay? So if he needed uh, to address his pelvis posture, there'd be an exercise or a stretch here. And let's see here, you've got a lunging quad hip stretch that shows up as your top exercise. That tells me your quads are a little tired and tight. Yeah. Um, so when your hip flexors are tight, maybe from sitting in the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe. So, all right, because that's your number one exercise that jumps out. But the second exercise that jumps out for you is single leg step ups with knee lift. That tells me you don't get hip extension either, okay, or mm -hmm. as much as, as uh, consistently could, right? as you could. 
and that's related to that internal external rotation okay not the extension which is what a lot of people would think is hey you just said I got good extension yeah but you got good extension with internal rotation so that exercise is to get you pulled back out get those glutes hamstrings and the, the calf muscles to fire.